And it's actually known to be one of the most haunted places in Ireland. new people yes to the new people all new people by the way before we go any further see that that red subscribe button press it you will not regret it go click it give it, give it a click it helps us and then you get to see more of our videos and you get to see my ugly mo yee but anyway so today we're going to the healthware club in the dublin mountains wicklow mountains ish -y. yeah mountains. it's a big viewpoint basically it's a uh, a lot of legend behind it which we will talk more about when we get there but you're in for a little bit of a, a bit of a tree as such. Let's go. They said that just one look and I'd get caught too. Cause there's something about you. And you know it too. Can you tell me there's lots of walking involved? Didn't tell you there wasn't. So I've actually never been up here before. I've never looked during the day. And Lee did not warn me. There's a lot of hill walking involved. And then when we drove past you, you can see the Hellfire Club, so I just assumed that. Well, you can see the woods. I, I just assumed that like, it'd be close to the car park. No. I was wrong. It is not. And it's like the hill is like. The hill's like that as well, it doesn't help. So, uh, we're we'll taking a little break, but uh, we keep going. But anyway, so, to continue on with our story. This place was a, was founded in was a seventeen seventeen thirties I think. Yeah. It was and built by a a very familiar name. <laughs> so my dad's name is Richie Parsons, and the person who founded this place, who was a lover of black magic, was also named Richard Parsons. So. Uh, so yeah. Richie, we're on to you. We're on to you. But yeah, let's uh, keep going and uh, go see what's. Actually, like during the day. So we just keep going around corners, and around every corner, there's more of a hill. So uh, I don't even know if we're nearly there. I'd like to, I'd like to hope we are. We're nearly there. Hey there. at the building, the Hellfire Club building, and when it was built, it was built as a, like a hunting lodge. But um, there's like a in folklore, old folk, folklore tale that uh, the devil used to play cards. Open. There was a one night that um, whoever lived here had all the guys over, and they were playing cards, and the devil knocked on the door, and he came in and played cards, and it was only that um, one of the guys dropped a card or something along the lines of that, and he looked, looked under the table the and he saw the devil's hooves, and. Uh, he, I, I'm not too sure because there's another place in Wexford Loftus Hall that has a really similar story where the devil went up through the roof, there was always a hole in the roof. But uh, that was pretty much the story, so the, the devil played cards here and it's actually known to be one of the most haunted places in Ireland. Um, people have said that they've come up at night and they can feel tightness in their chests and whispers in their ears and stuff like that. So uh, I can vouch for the tightness in the chest. He's been up at night time before, I've not. Loads of times. So, um, but the tightness in the chest could have been more so often getting up that hill though. <laughs> this is true. So yeah, we're going to take a look inside and see uh, if you can see the dip. So we're still intact, if that makes sense. You know, you know, we've gone up to the likes of Red and stuff, and it's just the out, like the outline of it. But this everything. The room was intact here. Yeah, that, like, that was like, that would be a fireplace. Yeah. 
Looks like a chimney at the back of it there, yeah. That, that would be a fire, but it's closed in now, but... Just about, you can still see the, the light coming through. Yeah. What's this, uh, Love engraving on that. Let's go. Windows were like that, it was to defend against enemies, so it's very narrow in there, and it would be essentially a very narrow place to shoot through, but here you very wide place to shoot through. Mmm. Ends up new every day. Look, the steps and all still intact. I kind of feel like these were probably re like renovated. Another floor as well. Yeah. Imagine living here though and being able to have that view every single day. I think one of the most spectacular parts about being up here is the view. Like it's a viewpoint of all of Dublin. Like it's a 360 degree kind of view around Dublin. You can see the south side where we're from. We can see the city, and you can make out like all the buildings. Oh, you can make, um, that's the shadowy place, we don't go in. But you can make out, you know, the spire and the Aviva Stadium and there's like... I found Croke Park too. Yeah, you zoomed in on his phone and found Croke Park too. What are you doing down there? What are you doing down there? Take a picture of you. Yeah. Legend has it that if you come up here and don't subscribe to Borders and Beyond, the devil will visit you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep a straight face saying that. <laughs> it's pretty cool to see, like, because it's a fully intact building. It's still intact, like, it's mad. Like, most places that are like this in the hall have been. That have been derelict for so long have fallen apart. Like there's only kind of a shell, or there's only one or two rooms intact. This every single one of them's intact. Broken steps, broken stones, Nothing but this like is a full. We still have the fireplace and stuff. Everything's cool. still there. Notice like stalactites forming and all the calcite forming up in the roof. I don't think you noticed it, I didn't notice it. So good. Supposedly, the story that I was told from a few of the lads is that this divot, this kind of crater as such, was from the devil when he was walking back down the hill. His tail was dragging along it, or else walking up the hill one or the other. His tail was dragging along it and it created that divot. Interesting. Yeah, it's folklore, but good story. That's a good time, and it's just start raining. Yeah, we did. The bad part about this is people don't know how to park or drive. They're parked on the side of a road where it's blocking everything else, and now nobody can move. Yeah, we're in traffic now. But the good thing is, we um, got back into the car just in time because it's just started to rain. So, uh, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that was fun. I think we're so lucky to have... So many places close to us. Yeah, there's so many places that we can go to and see that are close to us. Um, you just hop in the car on the weekend and go explore new places, which is great because, you know, a lot of people just... I mean, a lot of people don't have that. No. So, um, yeah, we are lucky in that sense. But yeah, we'll see where next weekend's adventure will bring us. Anyway, as always, like, subscribe. Oh, and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye. Peace.